What do you make of that uh, Floyd walking to that ring hinting like a little MMA fighter? Uh, what do you in that cage? Yeah. Oh, uh, none. I, I, you know, he's having fun with it, you know? Um, I, you know, I don't really see Floyd getting into the uh, MMA cage like that. I think it's more it's more of a situation where, you know, he's having fun with it a little bit. He's teasing the fans. Uh, he's teasing Connor. You know, uh, you know when you have that friend when you, you know, hang out with your group of friends and, like, the one that can't take the joke is always the one you always yeah. crack on more because you get the best reactions, right? Right. That's like Connor and, and his fans, you know? Like, he got smacked around and, like, and then they, everything Floyd does now, they get so mad about it. They get so mad and they react to everything. So, that's just Floyd jerking their chain, playing with it a little bit because, you know, they're mad. The other guy got smacked around and, you know, now they, they can't get him in the cage. Or they like, oh, we might get him in the cage. So, they'll tease you a little bit now. He just got smacked around. You're not going to get him in the cage. Where does Connor go from here? Do you think he'll fight the winner of Khabib versus Tony Ferguson? No, I don't think he'll fight. I don't think he'll do that. I think he'll pretend he will. He'll tell people he will. And then he won't. I don't, I don't think know. he's going to sit as a rabbit. Uh, I don't know. I, I think maybe... I could see him vacating the title. Um, sorry, I'm watching the highlights here. But I could see him vacating the title and uh, maybe just taking on a less, lesser nondescript opponent. Um, I don't even know if he'll fight Nate again. Because honestly, one, uh, one route he could take is to vacate the title to avoid the winner of Ferguson and, and Khabib. And then, um, and then fight uh, Nate Diaz in the third fight, you know, with, when there's a title on the line, you know. Um, maybe you make an eliminator for the title or something. But, but I don't, uh, I don't, I don't necessarily even see that happening. But he'll pretend like he will. So just so that everybody, all the gullible people will, will believe him, you know. So, so he'll talk about it. He'll pretend like he will. He might even show up uh, to that uh, Nigel Metal and uh, and Ferguson fight. People going down over here. People go south over here. You watch out. If you people run into signs, you saw that. So, so you know, um, it's uh, you know, you could you may even see that happening. But I don't see that. I don't see him fighting these guys now. Do you think maybe since he got a taste? No, I think it's going to be hard for him to want to take a risk because he got a taste of uh, the big spotlight, the big shine, and now um, he wants to stay in that shine. So he's between a rock and a hard place because to stay in that shine, you got to fight. But at the same time, if you fight, you're probably going to get your ass whooped because you know you're going to be, you might be forced to fight some difficult fights. There's no boxer on the planet that's worth anything that he'll beat. And then um, there's, you know, if he keep tries to fight for the title. In MMA, I don't, I don't think he's, he fares well with the winner of Khabib and Ferguson. Do you entertain that fight still? Probably, uh, honor in a boxing fight? The boxing? Um, you know what it is? Everybody always asks me about that. You know, everybody, everybody, people get mad. I know people get mad that I talk about Mike Gregor and whatnot, but no matter who I'm talking to, you know, as you just did now, you know, people ask me about it. You know what I mean? So, so you know, I'm going to answer the question and I'm going to respond about it. You know, I know I have the truth. So, I have, it, for, me, for me, it's, fun. yeah, I know I have the truth. So, for me, it's fun to, like, crack on him and, and break on him because I know it gets on their nerves. You know what I'm saying? I know it gets on his fans' nerves. So, for me, for me, it's fun. You, you know, you always, no matter what interview I do, people ask me about it. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, it's fun. You know, you know what world I come from? I come from Brooklyn in the 80s. 90s. If somebody's talking shit about you, the way I'm talking shit about him, you gotta come see him. So he's gotta come see. If he doesn't like it, you can come see me. You know what I mean? We don't have to do it in the ring. We don't have to do it in the cage. You come see me. You know, you're in, you come to New York. You come. Just, we can talk about it. Like the two men, we can talk about. It. You know, we, come see me. Because man to man, he, you know, he, he's gotta come see me. Because I'm just gonna keep shitting on him. Because you know, yeah, people gonna keep asking me questions. And I, like I said, I have the truth. There's no more videos you can release that make him look good. You know what I mean? So, so uh, that's it. There's, there's 30 minutes of ass whooping that he's got left. He's gonna, he's gonna save that one. So you know? Yeah, he can come see me. You know, he doesn't have to, but he can come see me if he wants me to stop. You know, otherwise I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna be that guy, just keep shitting on him. You know, when I was young, I, I don't like somebody who's talking shit about me. I will go see them. Okay? If you're gonna come to talk shit about me, I'm gonna come see you. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it. Or we're gonna do something about it. That's, a, that's how many handle things. You know, so his fans don't like it. He doesn't like it. Um, he can come see me, or he can just keep eating it. Like I said, I got the truth, and the truth is a funny thing. One thing about the truth is you can't prove it wrong. The beef is gonna get squashed. You know what? Why is this guy getting offended? Yeah, one way or the other. I'm not saying you know, we gotta fight. You know what I'm saying? You come see me. Yeah. What do men do? They talk things over, right? Uh,